our channel Rona Canar Vlogs. I hope everyone is doing well. Today in our video we will talk about an important topic that might help all the people who they are planning to move to Canada, particularly in Toronto, Ontario. And regardless if they are singles, couples, or they are working professionals. Today our topic is the cost of living in uh, Toronto for 2022. All right, guys. So without any further ado let's begin but before we start i would like to just inform you that all our amounts and all our numbers will be in canadian dollars so that will make you guys understand more clearly and more better all right so with that being said uh, let me begin with our first expense so the first expense is rent mm -hmm. Uh, in Toronto, in your all the expense, out of all your expenses, the big chunk of your expense goes for the rent. Yes, renting in Toronto is extremely, extremely high and expensive. It, regardless whether you are living in a basement or in a condo or you rent an apartment or you have your own house. It also depends in which area of the city do you live. So our rent for, we are living in one bedroom apartment. So our rent is $1,475. And that just includes our rent. And also we get one parking with that. So parking and rent all together is $1,475. The next expense is basically the hydro. Uh, basically, our hydro includes the heater as well as the electricity. Uh, and the range bet uh, between is uh, 55 to let's say $65 per month. And it depends on the, on the, on the season. For example, in winter time, uh, we obviously like we use our heater 24 seven days yeah. uh, because Toronto is uh, Consider one of the uh, coldest uh, cities uh, in yeah. uh, Ontario, so that's why uh, sometimes our bill for the electricity goes high up to sixty-five dollar. However, in summer, uh, the the amount go a little bit like decrease because we don't use the heater as well as we don't use the air condition in summertime. Our next expense will be. internet so in Canada particularly in Ontario we have two big internet provider companies one is Bell and another one is Rogers mm -hmm. our internet is with Rogers our monthly plan is unlimited and our uh, downloading speed in is 150 Mbps and our uploading speed is 15 Mbps we really made sure that our internet is really good because Kanar works from home and it also helps me to stream and to upload my videos on YouTube regularly. All right, the next expense is the mobile bill. Ronak and I, we have different uh, mobile providers. Uh, my provider is Virgin Plus and Ronak is Telus um, provider. Uh, for my plan is unlimited and I have uh, 8 gigabyte per month for $55. However, for Ronak, he has a 5 gigabyte per month with unlimited uh, plan for $70. And that's a uh, total per month we spend for our mobile bills is $126. Yeah. So our next expense is laundry so in our apartment the system is that they don't provide in suit laundry meaning we don't have laundry washer or dryer in our unit we have to go downstairs in a basement where they have a separate laundry room where they put a washer and dryer mm -hmm. so we and then they provide us laundry card so every month or whenever you want to do your laundry you have to load or top up your laundry card so our monthly expense for the laundry is $15 approximately. 
Correct. And basically, uh, usually per week, we uh, we do our laundry every week. Sorry, uh, for the washer, we we spend around two dollars seventy five uh, cent, and for the dryer, the same thing as two dollars seventy five cent. And as Ronak mentioned, around uh, fifteen to maybe sometimes $20 uh, per month for our laundry. It totally depends on how many loads we have, mm -hmm. like how many times we do a laundry in a month. So it entirely depends on them. So our next expense is car insurance. So my car insurance is $240 per month. Mm -hmm. So you get, you have different options here. It again depends in which area you live in Toronto. So the average insurance for an individual is if you are an experienced driver, if you have been driving in Canada for a longer period, your insurance may go a little bit low compared to those who are new drivers and who never have any experience. Their insurance will be relatively higher. So my insurance is $240 a month. Next expense is car finance. Mm -hmm. I finance my car and I pay bi-weekly $120. So for a month, I pay $240 for my car finance. Also, for my car parking, I pay $130 a month, but this car parking is for my work. My work is located in the downtown, and people who live in Toronto are aware how expensive parking is in downtown. So I park in a private driveway, and I rent it for $130 a month for my parking. Okay, so now the next expense, which is Uh, basically uh, for the Netflix or uh, in other words basically because me and uh, Ronak we work a full time so yeah. basically we have no time to uh, to have a cable or like you know sit watch, watch some true. series or like you know movies frequently so from time to time uh, when we have a time uh, we watch something like on the Netflix so our monthly um, uh, we spend on the Netflix is about $12 uh, per month Our next expense is gas. I pay approximately $200 to $220 to $250 on an average basis. My car is a hybrid actually, so it consumes less gas and my work is not that far. So there are months where I don't even use or top up or fill my gas with $200, I pay less depend on how much I drive and what my commute is. Okay, so the next expense is which is the most important part, the grocery. Uh, Ronak and I, we prefer to cook at home and eat from home and that's why like our grocery takes between um, a range between three hundred dollar to three hundred fifty per month, and that's include uh, vegetables, fruits, uh, includes uh, different kind of meats such as uh, beef, chicken, and fish, um, and obviously the bagel, the loaf. So we try like to eat um, healthy as much as we can, yeah. uh, and of course from time to time when Ronak and I uh, we finish work and we are tired or sometimes in the weekend we have no mood to cook so obviously we do uber eat but uh, as I mentioned at the beginning uh, our range for the uh, for the grocery per month between 300 to 350 our next expense is rental insurance so what this rental insurance is when you are renting in an apartment or condo or anything, you need to have an insurance just to protect yourself. Just imagine if you have a fire or anything else in the city or any of that situation, what you're going to do in that. If you have an insurance, that means you are fully covered in case 
of such things. So that's why rental insurance is, is very important for you guys. And the last, last of our expenses is miscellaneous. So basically what this expense is, for example, let's say we don't, we feel like when we come back from work, we feel like we don't want to cook anything. So what we do is we order our food from outside. We do Uber eat. For example, I go and cut my hair or my car broke down or I need something get fixed in my car like for oil change or something. So these sort of expenses we I will put under miscellaneous and our budget for a miscellaneous expense for a month is hundred dollar. So we don't necessarily have to use this hundred dollar. Every single month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for for example if we use hundred dollar this month we may not end up using that hundred dollar for the next month it, it entirely depends on our needs but we try not to exceed our miscellaneous expense amount which is hundred dollar mm -hmm. so with that being said the full breakdown of our entire month's expense is anywhere between three thousand dollar to three thousand and fifty dollar a month now I understand and I know that these expenses and that these numbers may be a little bit higher but again as I mentioned it before the biggest chunk of all these expenses depend on your rent and that depends on which area of the city you live in Correct. that if like there are people who can live less than what we spend and there are people who spend more than what we spend it entirely depends on you your needs okay so basically that was our um, video for today the cost of living in Toronto for 2022 um, if you find this uh, video uh, interesting and you um, find like you know any useful information please consider like share subscribe and if you have any questions uh, for the people who they are planning to come to Canada, definitely you can reach us out and we're going to be more than happy to assist you for any concern or any um, information that you needed in the future.